Donald Brabant was born on the 27th of August 1908 in Cootamundra, New South Wales, and died on the 25th of February 2001 in Kensington Park, South Australia. When Bradman was growing up, he was the youngest child in the family. He had an older brother, Victor, and his three sisters, Islet, Lillian, Elizabeth May, and his parents, George and Emily. As he got older, he would practice for his favourite sport, cricket, every afternoon, and he even invented his own solo cricket game, which was u- which used a cricket stump, golf ball, and a water tank. He would bounce the golf ball off the water tank and in doing that it would bounce in different directions at high speed and he would try to hit it on the rebound using the cricket stump. This is a form of practice that developed his unique skills, reactions and precise timing to a very high degree. He played for Barrel Public School and at age 12 in the, his first formal cricket game he played Mittagong High School and hit his first century with a tally of 115 runs. As he grew up, he played lots of games of cricket, and he was given the nickname the run-making machine. At 17, he would regularly play for Barrel senior, senior Team, and during the years of 1925 and 1926, he scored 1,319 runs in only 23 innings, and in 1927, he was selected for the New South Wales team. By the following years, selectors saw how great he was and was invited to play for Australia. Throughout his life, he made a very made very, uh, made lots of accomplishments. Ma- majority of them became very important. It is said to say that he's he was an exceptional batsman and even one of the best batsmen that the world has ever seen. And most of his achievements were because of his pure talent and ability and practice in his younger years. Bradman played 80 innings in 52 tests for Australia and scored 6,996 runs. His highest score was 344. His test average was 99.94, which is the highest average for any player. The score, the second best average is 60.97, and it's likely that Bradman's record will never be beaten. During the Depression, lots of people were left without food and jobs and even houses. Every day was a consistent struggle for them, and in these hard times, many people would turn their attention to sport, especially cricket, to take their minds off the terrible situation. Cricket in particular was a sport that every Australian player played on the summer's day and they would have a deep affection to the sport which started in 1982 when the first um, 1882 when the first Australian team travelled by boat to England to the birthplace of cricket and they defeated English cricket team. The simple cricket game had left England in shame because they were the birthplace, birthplace of cricket and the motherland. When Bradman died, they held a memorial service for him at St Peter's Anglican Cathedral in Adelaide, which was attended by the current and past Australian Prime Ministers, Governor General, and many forms of current cricketers. Cricketers. The service was broadcast live on TVs, and viewing audience was 1.5 million. Thank you for listening. As a young boy, Don Bradman famously honed his skills, batting with a single stump and golf ball. I used to play away for ages out there on my arm, uh, and it was just fun. Never entered my head that I was probably training my eyesight and and coordinating my movements. That didn't didn't register at all in those days. Now, of course, I can uh, realise what the significance of it was.